Hi, I'm Phyllis from SouthernFrugal.com. Well, I finally finished the foyer. Uh, I had uh, thought that I wasn't going to paint the uh, white trim work and you know around the doors and all that, but I ended up doing it. And so it definitely took longer, but I'll give y'all a look. Got everything back in here now. And uh, got the clock. We decided to go ahead and let the clock run for a while. And uh, got the furniture polished and the clock. I moved that fake palm in here. I, I don't like fake flowers or fake plants, but I thought that looked good in the corner over there. So yeah, got all of the uh, trim work around all of the doors and all up and down the steps and all that, which was a lot, you know, and back here. So anyway, let's go have a look. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that palm almost looks real, but I know it's fake, so I'm gonna maybe look for some real plants, maybe some hosta to go right in there, maybe a big plant. Yeah, so got the pictures back up. We weren't but two of them in here. And uh, got all the uh, stair steps painted. And that was really, really hard uh, to paint because really when you use even the masking tape, you know, it runs up under it. So I don't even like to use that. So anyway, here it is. Now, these steps, I'll show you up the steps. Oh, there goes the clock. That's the St. Michael chimes. We've got it turned on there now. Yeah. So it, it turns up. We have it so it goes silent at night. Yeah, it's, it's 8 p.m. All right, so what I wanted to tell you about these stairs these stairs, the steps starting right there are actually smaller than the next steps because these steps going up are the original steps. Now we've got uh, one of those plastic sliding kind of doors uh, and we do that because we've got two systems uh, of air conditioning and cooling and if you have that door open it kind of messes up the system downstairs, so it works a lot better if you keep that door kind of closed. Anyway, there's a picture I painted of this house, the way it used to look, and I actually had those kind of curtains. They were country curtains in the windows when we first moved in. We didn't have a rail on the porch. I frankly think it looks a lot better now, but anyway, yeah, those were curtains from Country Curtain back when, when, you know, doing everything country was in style. See those little trees right there? That's what they look like back there. And then this big pine tree we got cut. And uh, this tree, the lightning struck it and the top of it broke out. So anyway, we, the trees are much bigger in the uh, yard now. And so there's the baseboard. And what I'm going to do is get some little trim boards because you can see that they you know, they used to have the trim boards there. And um, just use the uh, little, I think they call that shoe molding. Now I put this down several years ago, but I couldn't figure out how to do it here since it would be at an angle. But I think I can figure it out now. I guess I've gotten smarter in my old age. Anyway, so, yeah, so we had to put up the rails too just because a couple of people fell down the steps and Mr. Bucky was one of them and my son was one of them and they hit this sheetrock over here. Now, in, during the war, the Second World War, uh, they turned this house into rental and so the downstairs was rented to one family and the upstairs was rented to another family. So, this whole section here was opened up and, and there was a wall up here, right here, and so they had a separate entrance for the people that lived upstairs and then the people that lived downstairs. Anyway, so there's what it looks like. And, of course, I didn't have to paint this window and I am very glad I didn't. 
So that's what it looks like. So y'all let me know what you think. I think it looks pretty good and this will be the hardest task that I have to do in getting this house ready for sale because the living room, of course, has already been painted and the people might not like red, but red it's gonna be. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'll back up here and let y'all see what it looks like. Yeah, that chair belonged to his, uh, uh, Mr. Bucky's grandmother, and then his mother, and then we ended up with it. The desk was my father's, and I refinished that. And of course, the clock we bought new. Let me see what kind of clock that is. I've even forgotten a Howard something. Howard, I think it's Howard Miller. Yeah, there it is, Howard Miller. We really like the clock, but can't keep it going at night. But, can, oops, sorry. And y'all see that right there. You can have it silent. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, right there it says silent. You got. St. Michael chimes, and I don't know what the other one is, and one of them is Westminster, which makes it ring a lot, lot. So it makes a ding of some sort every, on the quarter hour, yeah. And, and again, it, it, I forget what time of night, it goes silent, I think 10 o'clock is what I recall. Anyway, and there's the fake palm. It looks sort of real, don't y'all think? Just sort of real. Yeah, but not real. All right, y'all. So that's it. You can probably tell I'm tired. and uh, But it's done now, and uh, it's going to be moving on to the next room. Uh, I don't think any of it. We've got to do three more rooms in the downstairs bathroom. And the kitchen, well, I think we're going to paint a... Uh, uh, sort of a gray blue a little bit deeper color to match the uh, tiles and uh, I've also got to do something with the ceiling I'm going to try to wash it because I use wall paint on the ceiling just for that reason in the kitchen so I can wash it so I'm thinking I can wash it and it'll probably look like it's just been painted so anyway and by the way I want to talk with y'all a minute I have not posted I think I posted uh, the, uh, excuse me, the uh, third part to, to redoing the den, I mean the foyer here, uh, this morning because I couldn't post anything. And uh, so I just didn't even bother to do videos of any smoothies because I wasn't able to post anything. It would keep coming back era. So anyway, we finally called Time Warner Cable. And it seems that for the last, I'd say, two or three months, about every couple of weeks, we have to call them because the internet's not working right. And uh, then they send a boost, you know, through the line and it starts up again and everything works. So finally, this time, uh, I decided I would call. And uh, so I called and the lady I got on the line uh, asked me if we, uh, that she said, I've checked your uh, service and it seems that you have not cut your service off for more than two weeks. And I said, well, what do you mean we haven't cut it off? And she said, well, you're, you're, you need to cut it off at least once every seven days to keep your, let your little box reboot and keep your power strong in, on the internet. And uh, so I said, well, we, don't, we didn't know that. I mean, this has been forever that we've been having to call and because we've got the extreme internet where you have the higher signal. And uh, so anyway, we didn't know that at all. So anyway, I, we cut it off and cut it back on. Of course, it's super duper fast now. So uh, anyway, I'm you know, going to be back uploading. I'm going to upload this tonight, in fact. And uh, so I was glad the lady told me that. I don't know if y'all have Time Warner Cable. Did you know that you're supposed to turn your internet uh, box off? You're supposed to turn the power off every seven days and just leave it off for a minute or two and then cut it back on and let your box reboot. I didn't know that. I mean, it's good to know. I wish they had told us in the beginning 
we could have saved ourselves a lot of time because usually what would happen is uh, when we'd have to call, we would have gone for two or three of those days where everything was just real slow and you know you get that buffering where you get that little thing spinning around. It was just so annoying. And uh, so anyway, now I guess we won't ever have that problem again because we're gonna, we decided we're gonna cut it off on Sunday night and then cut it back on. That way we'll remember always do it on Sunday night. So we'll do it every seventh day. That's what we'll do. All right, so we will see y'all next time and thank you for going along with me when I was painting the den. It was kind of encouraging uh, because I wanted to get it done and uh, knowing that I'd be doing a video on it kind of encouraged me. I was thinking, you know, I'm going to take the day off today. That's what I woke up thinking. Of course, we were pretty much off yesterday, but uh, so uh, knowing I wanted to do a video on it, I just went ahead and said, I'm going to finish this uh, trim work. And really all I had to do was up the steps, but of course that ended up the hardest part really because you got to sit down and you got to be so careful around that little shoe molding and all. So anyway, all right, I'm very talkative because I'm tired. All right, we will see y'all next time, hopefully tomorrow morning with another smoothie. All right, bye now.